Hey everyone, this is Poor Nelson with Random Art Attack, and it has been a long time. Um, like you might know, I am going back to school for my master's, and so the finals get busy and the holiday seasons get busy, so hence my some semi-hiatus from YouTube for a while. So I've been playing around a lot this holiday season with Blender 2.8, and Eevee is phenomenal. Something I want to do is be able to get the same feels and effect that you get in Unity within Blender. And so that's what the tutorial is this week. And so, if you would, go ahead and dive right into Blender 2.8. If you don't have this already, you can download it from the Blender website. It is beta, so it is a little buggy sometimes. You can't add certain things, like you can't um, do add-ons or anything like that. But for the most part, it's phenomenal. I love it. Uh, the only thing I have had issues with is after I save the file and close it and reopen it, you have to reload the textures manually. Is that normal? Am I doing something wrong? Right? If you guys let know, let me know. So anyways, I imported something. I simply went file, import the barrel. That's it. And right here, you have your different, you have your wireframe, you have your solid frame. If you want to add Eevee to the mix, you go up here and you go to Eevee. Boop. And now you have one more. You have Eevee. This is, I don't know what this is. It looks just, I don't know. <laughs> looks like a uh, blender renderer. I don't know. And so now we have Eevee, but if you put cycles as well, then that circle also becomes cycles. So that one I didn't know what it was doing, it can become cycles. So I go to Eevee, and there I have this. All of the different um, effects, you can go to, where is that at? It is, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think it is right here. Anyways, you don't even know what I'm looking for. Sorry about that. There's a way to like add bloom and things like that. But where is that volume? Oh, it's right here. It's because I'm on cycles. I'm so sorry. I'm going to leave that in the video so that you can just see what it looks like to make mistakes because that's good. So you can add bloom, ambient occlusion, things of that nature. Um, the coolest thing that I find, well, there's so many cool things. You're going to probably hear me say that a lot, is up here at the top, you have different basically panel layouts, different layouts. So I'm going to go ahead and go to shading. I already have a shader applied because I imported this from Unity, which has a material on it. And so if you want to add one, you just go to this panel right here and you could just add a material. It's a principled BSD, BSDF, and that has everything you possibly want. So you can play around with the specularity to make it shiny or not. You could play around with the metallic like this. But again, we are importing things from Unity. So I found my Unity's file coordinates and coordinates, coordinates. <laughs> and I copy and pasted it right here. And you can see this is the cool, like, again, this is one of my favorite things. It has every single file that I can just drag and drop. So if I want the barrel, I can add the barrel. So if I have a very complex scene, I don't have to go to each individual file and import it. It's, it's just cool. So I'm going to bring this in and its color. I'm going to slide that into the base color. But a bing, but a boom, there's the base color. That's it for the tutorial. Thanks. Just joking. Uh, grabbing the barrel normal. And unlike what you may think, you don't just slap, slap that into the normal right there. You get really weird looking normals. Do you see how it's like, <laughs> it's just weird. You hit shift A, do a search, normal map, and then you slide it in between here. And then you also have to change it from color to non-color data. And now your normal is actually what it's supposed to be. That's way too shiny. It looks like plastic, right? So just going to crank that down so we can see it a little bit better. Or increase my roughness either way. Both would work. There we go. And you can see that the normals look a lot better right there. The last thing I need to do is I have my metallic and my smoothness from my Unity file. Smoothness is saved to the alpha. So the metallic goes from color to metallic, like that. And the alpha goes from alpha to roughness. Now, like I said, Unity uses smoothness, not roughness. So shift A. Let's go ahead and go to color invert. I'm just going to change that to inverted like that. And then I'm going to bring the specularity up to about 0.5.6. Okay. Um, I grabbed the wrong one. Do you see how there's streaks right there? It's because I have the wrong one. Barrel holder. I would want the barrel. Barrel metal roughness. There we go. Put that into the metallic. Put this into the color. And there we go. And now it's looking very similar to my Unity scene, except obviously I don't have certain effects and things going, but more or less, that looks nearly identical to Unity. So if you want to do render images to show like a client, you can actually do it inside Blender instead of the wonky Unity UI and stuff like that. And that's how you do it. This is so cool. I'm going to play around more with this. 
Um, and everything I learn, I'm going to let you guys know as well. There are some really cool things. Like I said, the, the only mistake that I've been, or the only bug that I've been finding, and I'd like to know if you guys are having the same issue, is if I save this and come back, sometimes it'll load, sometimes it won't. I don't know what's causing that. I Is that just part and parcel of Blender? Who knows, right? I don't know. So my goal is New Year's. I'm all about New Year's resolutions. My New Year's resolution is to try and work on the YouTube channel on an average 30 minutes a day. That should translate to about one to two tutorials per week, give or take. Some weeks, maybe not, but for the most part, yes. I have a lot of things planned and I'm excited to get back, back at it. Thanks for stopping by and I hope this was useful. Have an awesome, awesome day and look forward to more tutorials next week. Bye guys.